Hey everybody, it's Lindsay Baker, live for Jane on Chain. I'm reporting from Santa Anita Racetrack. Now the activities are just about to begin. You're gonna see what's going on here today. This is a very, very unique event where protesters will be holding a funeral and vigil for the horses that have died at Santa Anita, numbering 23 at this time. Actually, I was speaking to some of the protesters and they said off track, it's actually four off track, totaling a number of 27. That's according to horseracingwrongs.com. You can hear behind me though and see behind me. Can you see the gravestones? This is going to be an amazing event. We have ABC News Media here today as well documenting this event. It is going to be a very unusual event, a very unique event because people feel that it's super important. There are people here that feel it's super, super important that we take note of all the deaths. Let me just show you folks what we have here. We have a graveyard for horses here and we have all of the horses that have died except for Arms Runner who was number 23. The protesters didn't have a chance to get it done. Actually what happened was when the racetrack reopened only the second day of racing the 23rd casualty happened and that was arms runner but if you if i zoom in a little bit here you can see how short a life these poor okay. horses have had we're just about to start now and today we get to be sad today we get to grieve so this is a the first of a funeral type of demonstration Today we are fighting something so incredibly ugly and violent. We are fighting it with beauty and music and art. I made a, a passing statement, hey, we should have a funeral here for the horses. I'm picturing headstones on this lawn. And I, it's not my idea. I got the idea from the New Zealand Anti-Rodeo Coalition. And then Ron sent me a message. And Ron said, would you like me to make headstones? I said, absolutely. We are here today having this magnificent, beautiful, peaceful demonstration because of Ron. So let us all thank Ron. Thank you, Ron. Thank you so much, Heather. Um, good morning, everyone. Beautiful people. Thank you for being here. Today, we remember each one of the recent fallen baby horses and pay tribute with this procession. Every time I come to an event, I feel that I'm in the presence of greatness. Each one of you that comes out, shows up, and speaks out for the voiceless is an amazing, peaceful warrior. I want to thank Amy from LA Animal Save. Uh, we did some collaboration for this event. Um, Ellen from Animal Alliance. Everyone at Horse Racing Wrongs. Drana and everyone at Anonymous for the Voiceless. Um, and most of all, Heather for your tireless work and your passion for all the enslaved and killed for the pleasure of the pocketbooks of the elite. Countless horses have been killed at tracks around the country, but after December 26, 2018, there have been an unprecedented number here at Santa Anita. I'd like to honor each of the fallen horses that were murdered here by name. They are Bo Square, age four. Tariq, age two. Psychedelicat, age three. Tank Team, age two. Unusual Angel, two. Secret Street, age two. Derby Treasure, age three. Noise Mandate, age so two. Many, so many gravestones. Ambicelli. Age six. Too many Like really smart. Short. Age two. For a sport, as they say. That is Last what promise the kept. Are saying. Age four. This is not acceptable. Dancing Harbor. Three. This horse lived Spitfire. to be four years old. He's one. Age six. Jagger is one of Kim the ones Cantina. that lived a long time, and Age ironically, three. his name is Jagger Time. Come go with me. Age two. Jagger Time. Age three. Unusual rider. So I ask that we please have a moment of silence in their honor now for their memory. Is there, there isn't anything that I can think of that's happening in this entire, within 50 miles of us right now that is more important than being here, dressed in black, standing in the sun, people who share your values. And the more of us show up like this, the more other people will share our values as well. So 
My name is Roger Wolfson. I'm here to help. I'm here to support you. I'm glad to be a member of your team. And thank you for letting me speak. Okay, guys, uh, from here on out, we're going to have some music, um, but it will take a little second to set up. So This is going to be an amazing presentation. There will be some singers coming on, and then I believe there is going to be a vigil, and the vigil is going to be another part of this whole protest to uh, say, enough is enough, enough is enough, Santa Anita. You see the Santa Anita sign behind me. All these people came here on this hot day because they feel it's just been enough. You can see the crowd that's here. You see all these gravestones. Behind the gravestones, you can see there are stories about each of these individuals. And I think that's the point that these protesters are trying to make here today at Santa Anita Racetrack, that these are not just 23 investments. These are not just 23 uh, fast running machines. These are 23 individuals. Actually, as I said before, it may even be 27 if you count the horses that did not race but that were in uh, practice runs. Four short years, most of them are less than that. Most of them are two or three years. And people say, why such short lives? But I'm going to be going up to some people now and see if I can get some comments from the crowd. We see children here. We see adults. Hi there. Would you like to speak on camera for Jane on Chain? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, what do you? Why are you here today with your lovely children? And what brings you out here? And what do you want to say to people about the horse racing at Santa Anita or anywhere, for a matter of fact? Well, yeah. Right now, I just want to shut this place down. But uh -huh. you know, in, in general. And why is that? Can you tell us what your? Uh, well, it's it's one of those things where I've always known that this is just a terrible business. Uh -huh. And I've, you know, I always knew horses died after they were injured, but it's just something struck a nerve recently I with see. like, you know, because I, I never done, I'm politically active, but I've never done like animal rights protests. But when it got to a point of just like 20 in a few months, I just asked myself why I was sitting on the sidelines. I think in 20 years, we're going to be looking back on this and wondering what took us so long. We are honoring the memory of all these horses that were killed here way before their time. These horses were so young. This is 100% avoidable and preventable. None of these deaths had to happen had these horses not been abused and raced like this. So thank you again, everybody, for being here. This is a critical demo, and we're planning on doing something like this every other week. Um, but we, we really need to keep the attention on. Even if a horse is not killed this weekend, we still need to show up because there's already blood on their hands. Many, many, many horses have been killed at this very track, and we must never forget that. We are here at Santa Anita Live, Jane on Chain, at the horse funeral and vigil. Now we 
arriving here at the vigil. We see Roger Wolfson. He is the commissioner for LA, LA Animal Services. behind me, which is very encouraging to the protesters, I am sure. They've obviously gone through a lot of effort here today to remember these beings who sometimes we can say have been forgotten. But luckily that with the media here today, it appears that we are receiving much and much more information and the public is reacting. You'll see people go by blowing their horns. You know, actually, why I have a beef with Jade right now? Oh, because no. my dear friend Carissa Kranz over here had lunch with had lunch with uh, Jane Hi yesterday there. at Mercy for Animals, yes. oh, and wow. I didn't even know anything was going on. Uh oh, uh oh. So Jane, I believe you have my contact information, uh -huh. but I don't hear from you. You don't write. You don't call. I brought you. To, to meet Jane Goodall, this is how you treat me? Oh my goodness. Well, anyway. you heard it here, folks. <laughs> we present the news completely unbiased. <laughs> so seriously, though, on a serious note, yes. what do you think about what's going on today? Do you think this will have effect on the general public and possibly help more people get behind this movement? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, look, people have strong reactions to this. This is what's so amazing about the dedication of these people who come here to speak on behalf. The people driving in don't want to hear it. They, you know, they judge it. They look down on it. They get big reactions. I wouldn't be surprised if people driving by saying the mean things. Right. But it sticks with them. And this is not an angry crowd. Nobody here is saying mean things about the people who go to the tracks. That's right. That's true. They're just talking about the practice itself. Do you think it's out of uh, defensiveness that they react that way, or what? Nobody, nobody likes to have their morality challenged. True. But True you enough. still have to challenge it when they're doing things that aren't. Look, look at these little kids, by the way. Have you seen? The, look, look at these yes, kids making I these. Yes, I did. I know this is know, amazing. Even if, if for nothing else, this whole event is having an effect on the consciousness of these children. That's right. That's you right. know, you know. So this is profoundly important, and it makes people realize. You know, we need to have protests like this around every practice that is cruel to animals. That's Everyone. True. We yeah. need to do this outside of steakhouses. And systematically, you know, polite right? and as polite as we can, but as firm as we can. Yes. Everywhere that animals are being treated the way that they should not be treated, we need to show up. It's really great what you all are doing, because you are capturing the voice of a little group on a corner with grass that other media outlets really aren't here to capture. So. I'm grateful Jane that you guys Jane are... Jane Unchained shows up. Yes, yes. I think oh, thank Jane you. Jane Unchained shows <laughs> up. Nice. It's wonderful that you use the waves of the media to have meaningful messages rather than things that can continue to perpetuate the negativity that we constantly see. Hopefully this will inspire positivity and justice. Thank you so yes. much. For the horses. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Take it out to the world. Take it out to your community. Take it out to those that aren't awakened yet. They are those who need us the most. There are so many of us asleep because life is a struggle. So have compassion for the sleeping ones next to you, at your jobs, on the bus, at the store, the police officers, the security guards, the slaughterhouse employees, they are doing their job. And we need to be compassionate for them too. So everyone now, I just ask that you join me and the group uh, behind a headstone. Pick a headstone and we're gonna 
have a, some silence for the Vaughn. So we're Thank you all move. for being here. We're going to see the uh, protesters move now to behind the, uh, the, they're going all going behind the tombstones.